blessings um i wanted to come on and make a video right quick that was put on my heart to do so uh may it it bless uh move and convict the hearts of those who are those who are hearing and are watching uh but i titled this video how do i know i'm doing right with god or walking justly with the lord um and father says in ezekiel every soul is his therefore every human is his child because every human possesses a soul but the soul that sins father says it shall die so if we walk in the ways of the lord we and if we do not walk in the ways um of the spirit of rebellion um and our sin if we walk in if we walk in righteousness and and we are not walking in sin or rebellion um then we are walking uh in the right way of the lord we are we are in good standing and we are surely not to die it's in black and white actually for all who can read um in the bible the Bible will give no man no excuse because how we are to live and navigate in this life, especially in how we are to treat our fellow brothers and sisters, it's all in the Bible. It's our guide for this world and our lives. Father calls us to be just and to do what is lawful and right. And here are the character characteristics of a just brother and sister. You know, we are to be careful in the ways of keeping ourselves clean from all pollution of sin and be at a distance from all all appearances of evil meaning we can't live in sin nor be associated or affiliated with the appearances of evil we are to make sure we do not allow idols also to set up a place in our hearts nor to follow uh other idolaters uh you know first corinthians ten twenty says I say that the things that the Gentiles sacrifice, they sacrifice the devils, not to God. And I would not have you fellowship with devils. So we are to make sure every company, if any company we keep, is not compromised. And, and that it has the spirit of Christ and not the spirit of rebellion or antichrist. For we are not to fellowship with devils. Christ, you know, Father, set with sinners, but only to win them. If you are among... Um, people certain people out of simple pleasure and entertainment maybe you're you know hanging out and just living your life this is not good being a are in christ because you can't serve both our father is a jealous god and you are called to the service for the kingdom we all are uh and we are not to party or mix with the lost unless you are trying to get them to god and how do we know we are walking justly and right with the lord is making sure we daily keep our vessels in the way of sanctification and honor of our Lord, making sure we are not keeping our, our vessels in the way of of, gross, of greed, of, of lust, sexual lust. It is, it is very wise to keep the appetites of our bodies always in subjection to holiness and virtue. And how do we know we are walking justly and right with the Lord is if we are not being oppressive towards others, if we are not forceful with violence upon any, if we are not wrongly taking from others, oppression and violence are sins to God. And how do we know we are walking justly and right with the Lord is when we you know, are not taking advantage of others for our gain and for our benefit, not living in comfort and ease upon the sweat of others, taking increase from others who cannot you know, make increase of what is being given them. And you know, how do we know we are walking justly and right with the Lord is paying what we know we owe, um, not taking or robbing from others, also helping and giving to the poor. There are people, lukewarm, worldly, or, or even wicked, who believe and insist that their money is their own, but that is not so. We are we are bound by the blessings that God gives and provides for us to bless others with it because it's him who has blessed us with all that we have. And many credit solely their 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 own sweat, blood, and tears. Uh, but God is the reason we have everything that we have. He is the reason for every provision in our lives. And we are bound to do good to others with it. When we are blessed with it, clothes are, necess are necessary and food 
is necessary. Therefore, we, we walk justly and right with the Lord when we are charitable. And how else do we know when we are walking justly and right with the Lord is when we keep our hands from iniquity. If at any time you are drawn into something and you come to find it is wrong or a wrong thing, and you do not persist in it, but withdraw your hand from it because you now perceive it to be wrong, you execute true judgment by that. And by following this, this, this is good. These are the ways of, of good towards God that you're walking in. And you can also know that you're walking justly and right with the Lord uh, is by walking in his statutes, keeping to the duties of worship, making ourselves concerned to the ways of our relationship with Father, <clears throat> conforming our lives with, with constant care and endeavor to the faithfulness of our own covenant with Father and having joined ourselves to him, not departing from him, but always keeping his commandments. And for this, the Bible says, we shall surely live and not die. The Bible says in Ezekiel, but if the wicked will turn from, uh, if the wicked will turn from all his sins, uh, he has committed and keep all of my statues and do that which is lawful and right. He shall surely live and not, he shall surely live and shall not die. All his transgressions that he had committed, they shall not be mentioned unto him and his righteousness that he had done. He shall live. This is talking about those who come out of sin to persist in the ways of God. And it goes on in Ezekiel to say, but when the righteousness do not turn away from his righteousness and commit iniquity and do it according to all the abominations that the wicked man do, shall he live? All his righteousness that he has done shall not be mentioned. In his trespass that he has trespassed and in his sin that he has sinned, in them he shall die. This is talking about those who persist in sin, who do not come out nor repent of sin. So the word is clear and it tells us how we are to live, treat ourselves, treat others, but most importantly, live to obey. So I just wanted to share that with you guys and may it bless the hearts and move hearts and convict hearts of whomever hears and watches this. I love you guys. I'm praying for you guys. Always, always blessings and shalom to you guys. May you walk in Christ.